Hello, welcome back to Subterrain and we'll start the video by showing you the secrets. Now, I forgot where I got the Reaper, Skite and the Alpha Pickaxe, but it's probably in the first and the second or maybe the third level of the game. You just have to break the walls until you find them, they're actually super super nice. So what do you do with the Reaper, Skite and the Alpha Pickaxe? Well, it's not that hard. You have to go into level 2B and over here it will be a plant, so this is a secret area as well. So you might have to return after it, it's kind of interesting detail. So Probably you want to get the plant first of all because the sword is not so good. So here it will be the sticky plant and in level 4 mine A. Here it will be the glass but there is also a glass piece I think on level 9 if I remember correctly. I'm not sure where it was but you only need to get one. Uh, well I guess the glass pieces you need to get more of them but they're not as good. So what can you craft to them with the, <laughs> with the sticky plant? Yeah, but also you can only harvest them with these two items, Alpha Pickaxe or the Reaper Skite. You can make the Web Bomb, which as you can see it's an accessory that will last forever. And it will stop the enemy in place. They can still attack adjacent, but they cannot do much after that. They cannot move for three turns, which is kind of nice because of the way the range is designed. Oh, looks like it has a lot more range than original fat. And then you have the glass sword. Sadly, as you can see, the glass sword doesn't have any counter chances and attack of opportunity chance. Why? Because it only has one durability, so you need to build one for each use. But it will kill an enemy in a single attack, no matter who that enemy is. That's kind of crazy if you think about it. Look at this the web bomb. You need uh, eight adhesive extract, and you, you get that straight from the plant, so don't worry about it. You just get. The extract and then research it. The glass sword you just get the silk and then you research it. As you can see you need two per sword. So I am not sure how this will work. I guess it will depend if the developers want to change it a little bit or a little less. As you can see you need to research that only once and the adhesive extract apparently you can research multiple times. Adhesive extract. Oh well. Let's go and test things out a little bit. Now, I don't have enough time or I don't have a lot of time to show you the entire thing. Also, I got the belt. So, I finally got the belt. So, the S rank war belt and four perception modules. And that increased my perception to a ludicrous degree, but it also drains your nano energy. As you can see, we are ready for the boss or whatever monstrosity is in front of us. Oh, this will be fun. <laughs> also have the experimental, well not the experimental armor, the final pieces of equipment. And look at us. We have the high density element of headbutting, so high density headbutting. An extremely enduring exoskeleton of invincibility. I'd also say it's an enduring exoskeleton of extra invincibility. Comfy footwear, fortified fingers. Yeah, our character is definitely a bomb monster. Now, looking at the map, I think we'll find some enemies around here. Oh no, we have to go straight into the mines. Okay, let's go into the mines. Then we'll have to reload. I mean, it's not as impressive as it looks or sounds when you think about it, but... It, oh no, why did I come over here? I picked the only place that doesn't have any... <laughs> that doesn't have any enemies. I forgot about this. I forgot the control area is completely safe. And no enemies spawn here. the enemies can spawn over here. Instant death. I don't know, I find that hilarious for whatever reason. Oh, I guess I don't have a light. And let's look at the sticky thing. Oh wow. I guess the effect is very nice, but it doesn't do a lot of damage overall, so yeah. Also, as you can see, even the best armor will take a lot of damage from the enemies. 
This fucked your head. Yeah, anyway. That was a lot of fun. Now you know how to get the extra secret secret items. So, probably those are the most secretive items in the game because they need a secret to find them. And then they need a secret to know where to use those items. So, that's basically two secrets. And the first secret is actually researching them and crafting them. So, yeah, probably not worth it. Maybe the sticky bomb is worth it, but you have to give up your flame for goggles, which I really liked, but. I guess this is more useful in the long term. Okay, let's equip the rifle and let's head below. You don't litter. I think we have a lot of the oxygen we need. Let's take another lamp with us. I said lamp. And yeah, this is basically end game character with end game abilities and all of the other stats. I think I also leveled up my nano to a very high degree. I think it's 11. No, it's what? It's only 9. Wow. It felt like I did more for it. But we do have the nano chameleon, which makes us invisible to the mutant eye. Well, we have to stop moving, but I guess you see its utility anyway. I'm not sure if I'll take it or not. It doesn't seem to have a second level. Then you have the Nano Domination, which seems like it will be worth it, because for 5 turns, you have the Mutant as your ally, which I don't know if it will be good or bad. In 5 turns, maybe the enemy can get 2 attacks or 3 attacks, depends if it has a ranged attack or not. Probably I should take this and put it somewhere on this bar over here, but as you can see, you already are supposed to have a lot of grenades, so I'm not sure where you're supposed to put all of this stuff. Doesn't seem too expensive. And now our nano energy will be continuously drained, so I'm not sure what to do with it. I guess you can remove your belt and only put it back on when you're in combat. I don't know, it's a bit dodgy, a bit sketchy. I don't know what to say about this. Also, we have installed the ultimate protectors on on the reactor. The what are they called again? The plasma X turret. So as you can see, it does a huge amount of damage for a stationary turret like this. And also, we have researched most of the other things here. The nano modules are kind of interesting because they can really, really, really help you play better or just survive better. As you can see, you have an acid and poison resistance, so. You can definitely just create a belt that is designed to resist all of this, and that's exactly what I should probably be doing, but... Doesn't make sense, because even if you have the belt with four of these things, it's gonna be 32% resistance, and I don't see a fire resistance over here. Hmm... Okay, that, now this is interesting, so let's look at all of them. I guess we have time, because why not? It will help people decide if it's worth it or not, maybe. So that's nano energy, so... I don't like where stuff gives you stuff if you have, let's say, uh, adrenaline. That's not good in my opinion. Increases are reduced by 12. So that's basically 50% less hunger, water, and sleep they require. But not a big problem. This is the one I used right now. Agility. No, I like perception. And we have also the one for the burner resistance. Don't have enough materials, that's uh, sad. Oh, so the yellow ones will be from the same side, that's annoying. I guess I should also make two more belts and then we'll see about the other ones. Kind of an annoying mechanic, but what can I do? Also finish the last level of the power dampener quest. And it only gives you another 10 to power which means 0 0.1 so yeah i can have everything open hmm. probably they should give you a heads up on how to use some of this stuff i thought it would give us something better see doesn't show the real but yeah it's another 10 power generation so it's just power generation not power uh, management anyway let's not get into details because if you get into de details in this game you'll never get to the bottom of the details
So what we that do? We cannot research the Silica one, but we can research the Odyssey one. Yeah. Also we cannot dismantle it. Also found the flame floor. I was actually, it was weird because I didn't know where the flamethrower was, but then I remembered I had a keycard that I didn't use. So I remember we find mine storage B04 and that's it. It's in mine storage B04. It's actually not that hard to find, it was over here. So it's mine west area A and you enter the door and you find the flamethrower. The flamethrower needs silica gel to function that's a lot of damage it can deal but as you can see i'm not a fan of it i'm not sure how the fumble gels work and to make it you just need plastic and volatile extract and the volatile extract is kind of hard to get anyway let's continue playing the game should we do the boss probably yes we should try and do the boss Scary when I have no lights like that. Okay, we have seen the funny stuff, the interesting stuff. By the way, that sword doesn't kill bosses, if you're wondering. It says it doesn't kill bosses. So I assume everything that has a boss tag, and probably this thing will have a boss tag. They see the things in this room harder than anywhere else in the mines. The geothermal power plant. What? Who's hungry? I hope it's me. Addition <laughs> to several methane capture, methane capturing devices. And this was necessary due to Titan's atmospheric disturbances, making solar energy an unreliable power source. Yeah, science really can overcome an obstacle. It's pretty good at creating artificial intelligence too. I don't know what I do with you. Oh my. You can't avoid seeing. Oh, of course, we cannot avoid seeing the massive pulsating monster wrapped around a large generator. Creatures breathing seem stunted. Each exhale attacks your ears with high pitch shrills, almost like a warning not to approach. That's not a high pitch shrill, it's just a low crawl. Don't tell me what you're about to tell me. Sorry, but yes, the monster has fused with the germa geothermal generator. It must be slain first. Can I come back later? Well, it doesn't look like it can move too much. There's no there are no escape alternatives. Enrage fusion beast. Replicating fusion beast. Well, that's a problem. So let me see. So that's enraged. That's the fusion beast. I did. Oh, I had my syringes with me. Wait, where is my unload skill and why is it not here? I am probably not able to target it with attacks.
We should probably kill those things because they'll split us and I don't like the acid. That was a bit sad, I was expecting more. Hmm, I thought they fixed the issue with, uh, with you not being able to target the monster with uh, your attack. Yes. I think we should destroy first the thing called fusion. Let's destroy the enraged fusion this first. Fusion. I guess I am not doing a lot of damage, but it's enough. Out of ammo, okay. I guess this is a... Oh, I forgot... Forgot to use my bed. It's actually been bed pass a lot. Turns preserved, okay. I think that's the last part we need to destroy. Or is it? Ah, I guess it healed up again. Well, preserving a lot of turns, that's actually very good. The brutal shot. Oh, we need level 17 for the next level. That's a bit too much. Unbrutal shot, quick shot, oh, 16, well, that's not better. Only thing I don't have is the rifle master because it feels like I'll be wasting a lot of points just to upgrade it a couple of times for a little more kill chance. This is kind of anticlimactic, but I guess it's better than having to fight it with melee. That looks viciously different. Yeah. It was a different attack. Uh, okay, it just gets more disgusting. Yeah, I guess none of my attacks will work per se. Getting a little bit fast in. I mean, it's not really doing damage to me. Wait, is that. Um, that was not my character. This would be a nightmare to fight in melee. Imagine trying to hit it, hit it with your hammer a lot of times. Well, I guess in melee it will deal more damage. Maybe. But even so, it's pretty bad. Shit. Can we just be done with this? Okay, the monster's limb body falls, while revealing the sheer size of the geothermal power generator. Something in there. I see. Nearly and watch my video scanning. It's an energy converter for high concentration hydrazine. The last part we needed for the ship. We found it. It's like good old Cyrus said. 
Egy konvert, az volt. Oké, all escape camp on the tech airship. Don't forget to take the energy converter. Wow, this looks like a creepy doll. Yeah, so they still haven't fixed the issue of not being able to target the monster with your special attacks. Okay, I guess that's not so bad, but yeah, don't play this melee character. But I guess you can maybe try to use your grenades, but even so, it was pretty hard and annoying. Let's put, let's put down the belt. We have defeated our arch enemy or arch nemesis. Yeah, but that still doesn't solve my question over here. Oh, was it in the other area? Okay, we still have one more thing to do in the game. I have, I have to remember it. We have a puzzle somewhere on a level that requires us to move from one point to the other, but I have no way to do that. I guess you have to be a melee character to use it, because otherwise you cannot level your dash skill fast enough, or I don't know. I'll have to remember to give it another chance, otherwise I think we have finished most of the secrets in the game, most of the content. We have the titanium, we have everything else. You can see this skill is finally useful. Hey, that's a lot of enemies. Okay, that was a lot of enemies over here. Oh, you can actually hear the lava bubbling. That's actually kind of interesting. Yeah, that thing only drops geodes. So yeah, that's another thing. So we have two more mysteries to solve in the game. How to extend and these bridges to get the chests since we cannot jump them yeah no as you can see we have power over here i just probably need to activate the switch somewhere maybe let's search again because i don't really want to leave any loose ends behind It's a pipe. This looks like a computer, but I cannot interact with it. Hmm. I don't remember this thing having something to. has a sign on it i mean it has indications that it will work or that it works huh i don't get it
Yeah, I don't know. I guess I have to keep trying, okay. Let's just go forward because uh, we have done everything. Yeah, it's kind of annoying that I still have two tasks to do or two secrets to find out more or less. But so far it's been amazing, an amazing journey for for such an interesting game. The developers did a lot of good uh, did they did a lot of good things, they just have to balance the game, otherwise nothing the game doesn't need anything else, just to be balanced. Titanium deposit. We also have a new enemy that I haven't shown you, so as you can see they kind of evolve rapidly after a certain point, so yeah, yeah, I guess you still have to be careful because you start with the mutant. And then you get to the brawler, as you can see it gets bigger and bigger. Then the crusher is much bigger, and then you have the smasher, which is kind of like a crap creature. It has even those fangs, like, I don't know, it's so cool the way they designed the enemies. It's nothing really that special, but the way they designed them, and there are so many enemy designs. I don't know, it's hard to get bored of the game. High security research cave, that's also new, Nano Burster. They shoot anything that has Buster in its name. That's a nano slasher. I guess it doesn't work on these guys. That was the wrong time to run out of ammo. My beautiful armor durability is getting smashed. I don't think we can research this guy. That's the most amount of damage someone inflicted on my character. I also have a light burn and a sprain. Yeah, let's, let's also take the belt off. It's kind of annoying needing to take off the belt. You can only imagine how painful this would be with a melee character. Oh, this doesn't even have a map? Another journal. Vision blurs when I look at the date. Those are inhuman. Titan's tree roots hold the knowledge of the gods. Okay. Species, what can we do? So that's the journal entry number two. Well, I guess we have a mystery on our hands, so let's see what the journal says about the password. Yeah, I don't like when they give you passwords like this, because not only do you have to read everything, you also have to be... ...careful... ...on how you read everything. Down as a reminder...
Huh, okay, I'll just assume you need to go to the other location to get the password. Maybe the password is in the other location and I'm just wasting time over here. We got the password. Okay. I remember there was a residential area over there, so you need to visit this location in a certain order then. I guess the boss was the hard part of the level. Those nano things are also pretty hard to kill. These are the developers didn't have time to finish this area because nano, I don't know, they just look like a weird storm elemental from any other fantasy game. I like my enemies to be solid, that's why I didn't play Prey for a long time. I just didn't like the concept of fluid enemies. I don't really like them. Look at how cool the enemies are when they're so. So present, so massive, so imposing, so scary. So apartment 15. How does apartment 15 look like? Probably like apartment 14 or 16. I assume it, this is a bigger area, yeah. Ah, this is just another bar area. An empty refrigerator? What kind of a monster designs an empty refrigerator? Just give me some bread in the refrigerator. Or, I don't know, some water would be fine as well. Well, we're getting to the point where we can destroy enemies only with our nano energy. Oh, nice little... Well, this has got to be the nicest living quarter I've seen so far into the game. They even have washing machines over there. I guess it makes sense not to keep the washing machine in every apartment. Okay, probably there's not much over here to see, maybe... Rats, it's going to be one of those things. Oh, okay. Seven... <laughs> okay, it was actually easy. Seven thousand twenty-three. Here we found the password. Okay, so like I said, I have two things to do. One, figure out what the drawbridge idea is for that area, so it goes to both locations to the chest. Also do the little puzzle area where you have to go from one point to the other very fast. Deactivate the alarm. Okay, let's just go over here so we don't miss anything, like you know, a little secret here and there. Probably another storage area. I don't really need more junk at this point. But you never know. 
we never know because we need to get prepared to leave. Even if we leave, we still need a lot of other stuff to get ready. Because from what I read, when you once you get there, you still have to fight. So that's not the end of the game. You still have to fight a little more. That's what scares me. I mean, after defeating that monster, what could be next? Normal shower area. Why don't they? Why don't they put secrets in the shower area? Oh, I thought this would be another way out. Okay. So it does work on flying units, but it's a little bit weird how it works. Okay, let's search the shelf. This one is bugged. I'm clicking on it and it doesn't work. Okay, go forward. Oh, this is the church. Oh, now I see. So, incense for meditation with wire rod. Incense burner. I hope there's nothing important in this one because I cannot access it. Definitely doesn't look like a church. Not with a gun, especially not with a gun. Wait. William Jetton. What? Here, have more balls and keep them. Here, here have you even a melee weapon? I guess it kind of looks like a church. Okay, let's go to the other side and I'll end the video over there after we input the password because I don't want... Well, the game is basically over. What could be over there? Our main task is to escape, but we still have another location to... Vi what? Okay, now I'm really curious. Okay, let's see what's there. Let's finish the location as well today. I wonder what the title of the video will be, because I have too many things to explain or to show. So let me cut the power, because it's draining my resources, and I just want to have a very relaxed endgame from this point on. Even though the monsters are still getting a little stronger. In the final repair. Guys are no joke, I hate them. Especially, especially because they give no loot, that's my main problem. No loot. I guess we can rest a little bit, just a little bit over here, so we don't go so tired. Welcome, Dr. Richards. Whenever a computer says welcome, that's a bad sign. Wait, 
There really is a Titan tree. But they're joking with this stuff. Wait, is that the quest item? The deepest underground chamber, it's one of a kind and also I will love it. Oh no! I remember, or I think I, remember, I know the quest. Because the developer forgot to hide all of the achievements for the game and 90% and of the achievements for the game are just quests. I mean, if this says Ursula will love it, then it means Ursula is going to visit wonderful places after a while. At the center of the lab is a tall majestic tree, a colorful, a colorful flower blossoms before your eyes trying to approach, to approach the titan tree. There's sparkles from floating spores that give it a magical aura. Is this a flower growing on Titan? Look at the oxygen. The plant shares more in common with the mutants in the underground than with any known plant life form. It isn't dangerous, however. Just as Earth plants absorb carbon dioxide and convert it to oxygen, this titan flower absorbs the normally deadly contamination of the mines and produces breathable air. But oxygen is not better than 35%. So bringing this to Ursula won't harm anyone. I'm not bringing on Audrey too. Camp again. The flower is harmless to humans but could be used against the creatures here in the mine with the right research. Take it back then. You have one titan flower and then you have all of those other flowers. It suddenly got dark and and I thought something bad will happen, but it was just my flashlight going out and uh, I was announced of the attack. So we finally got to the final... well, I guess you don't see this map. I think this, this is an oversight from the developer. Everything should have a map. Yeah, I'll do the episode, I'll do the meditation then in the next episode because that's also another very important thing. But there's no secret in here. So creepy game. Well, I also have a lot of resources, so I can make more meat and fuel, so it's not such a big problem. Wait, what am I doing here? No. Huh. I guess I have to do some research before I finish it. when I look at it like that. Yeah, I wish the, the boss would be a more uh, solid creature, you know? I don't like fighting masses of creatures that do stuff like that. I just wanted to fight a creature that moves around, attacks me, maybe get some helpers or something. doesn't show up as an item that can be researched so before we do anything suspicious let's just save the game and let's put that in the inventory right now great atmosphere it was worth it because there really was a tree that can absorb the nano machines
I don't think there's any point in researching the add this if you extract. As it will not give me a better chance to harvest the plant. As the plant itself doesn't even show up over here. Dry bush and oh yeah, we have two types of bushes. Yeah, so I guess there's no point in researching that. I also think the progression on these tags is randomized, so you have to play the game multiple times to get all of them because there's no way you will get this few in a single playthrough. I mean, I'm not even close to 100% on any of these. Probably have to finish the game a couple of times. Oh yeah, well, let's try and put the energy converter over there as well. So you need a meditation candle that you buy from Dave's Emporio or David's Emporio over there. Okay, so we have a quest on our hands. We still haven't gotten... Oh. There might not be much more time. Well, we'll have to do that quest next time. Because there's not much more time right now. <laughs> See you next time. Bye-bye.